Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Welcome to the Flash Finds Podcast, the world's fastest podcast where we explore how Facebook can help you with the stuff you're into. I'm Emma Rogue, joined by Nathan the Cat Lady, a Facebook creator. So Nathan, if you're into pets, what kind of stuff can you find on Facebook? Well, I make reels about useful tips for pet owners. For instance, cats don't like still water, so all of my cats have cat fountains. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. What a great episode. See you next time on the Flash Finds podcast, all about discovering the stuff on Facebook you care about. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Lola's Frugal Life podcast. This is my weekly meal plan episode. If you haven't been here before. This is a quick episode that I do every Wednesday where I share my family's meal plan for the upcoming week with you. Um, This is also included as a blog post on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. If you are looking for any of the recipes um, that I mentioned, I include links to those on my website. The blog post comes out the same day as the episode every week, so all the previous ones are there too if you're looking for any other ideas or other meal plans. I just do this um, hopefully as some motivation for you to put your meal plan together or just to give you some ideas of some things you might want to make. Even if you don't like the recipes I'm making, maybe it reminds you of something else that you make that's similar. Um, So I just think meal planning is really important and um, it just makes my life so much easier, so I'm sure it would make yours easier if you um, just try to simplify it in some way. And sometimes by having ideas for what to make, that can help it be a little bit easier. I also do rotate my meals um, on certain days of the week. I have, we always have certain things or a rotation of certain things. So that makes my meal plan come together much easier. So I suggest doing that if you struggle with meal planning. So anyways, this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, June 15th. For Saturday, we are gonna be doing brats on the grill, Um, grilled chicken thighs, and tomato mozzarella pasta salad. Um, The mozzarella pasta salad recipe is from budgetbites.com. That's um, bites with a a Y. Um, This is a really quick, easy salad to throw together, and I really like making this in the summer because it has um, cherry tomatoes in in it, and um, at some point in the summer, I will have fresh ones that I can use from my garden, but this is just like a quick pasta salad that has bow tie pasta, mozzarella, tomatoes, olive oil, fresh spinach, vinegar, mayo, um, and some other seasonings. It comes together pretty quickly, but you do need to make it ahead of time so that it can chill in the refrigerator. Um, For the brats, I just buy brats and cook them on the grill. And for the grilled chicken thighs, I just um, cook them in a little bit of barbecue sauce and throw them on the grill. For Sunday, I'm not going to be cooking because Sunday's Father's Day and we have plans um, that don't include me cooking on Father's Day. So that works out. We're actually going to go visit family and I'm just bringing a few things um, that I'm picking up at Costco. So I don't have a meal to share for this Sunday. For Monday, we're going to be doing um, spaghetti and meatballs. This isn't a super summery meal, but I was just trying to find something to stick into that Monday slot and I haven't made that in a while and I figured it's pretty quick and easy um, for a Monday night. The meatballs that I make, you just um, bake in the oven. I just They just kind of come together pretty quickly. They bake in the oven and I can get the spaghetti boiling while the meatballs are cooking. So I figure that's a pretty quick meal. So we'll do that for Monday. The meatballs that I make are Chef John's Italian meatballs from allrecipes.com and the spaghetti. I'm just literally boiling up some spaghetti and using some jarred sauce to go with it. Um, maybe we will splurge and go with the Rayo sauce this time. I don't usually do that, but every once in a while I do. I try to usually do it if it's um, a recipe that you can really taste the sauce in. Like for example, one time I did baked ziti with Rayo's and it seemed kind of like a waste because with the cheese and everything else, like the difference in the sauce from like the cheaper sauce that I usually get at Aldi to like the Rayo sauce, which is like eight times more cost, um, doesn't really seem to make that much of a difference but in something like spaghetti where the sauce is kind of like the main flavor on it um, it does make a difference so maybe we'll go ahead and get like that rayo sauce for that meal 
For Tuesday, I'm going to be making copycat Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supremes. This is from the girl on Bloor.com. I made this um, a few weeks back, and it was actually really good. I never had a Crunchwrap Supreme before, but my um, one of my daughters um, asked me to make this recipe. It did take me a little bit longer at first when I started making it because I kind of had to figure out like how it all went together. It's like you basically make the ground beef, and then you take... Um, like a flour tortilla and you put stuff on it and then you put a no you put I think you put the flour tortilla I can't remember oh you do a flour tortilla and then you put a crunchy like tostada in the middle and then you put meat and stuff and then you put a smaller tortilla which you cut the edges off to make it smaller in the center and then you kind of fold it all around the outside to kind of seal it and then you have to cook it in a frying pan real quick which I had a little bit of trouble with that at first but then I kind of got the hang of it so but everybody really liked that recipe so I'm gonna mix that in every once in a while for taco Tuesday probably not as often as my other recipes because it is a little bit more difficult to make and one of the things I love about the um, taco Tuesday or the Mexican themed night meals it's they're usually easier meals to make but we're gonna try that one again for Wednesday, I usually do some kind of seafood. This week, I'm doing baked salmon. Um, this one's one of my favorite meals because it's so easy. I just take some frozen salmon fillets, defrost them, brush them with olive oil, season them with McCormick Smokehouse maple seasoning, bake them in the oven at 450 for like 10 to 12 minutes, and then I just serve them with some egg noodles and frozen vegetables. For Thursday, I do not have a meal again for Thursday night because my daughter is graduating high school on Thursday, and we're going to be going out to dinner to celebrate, so I won't be cooking Thursday night. For Friday, we're doing our hot dog night. We do this um, once every four weeks on a Friday. So um, super simple, just boiling up some hot dogs or throwing them on the grill, um, doing some canned chili. And then I also will make some um, potatoes, peppers, and onions in the air fryer. I just chop them up. I just dice up the potatoes, peppers, and onions, season them with a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, throw them in the air fryer until they're cooked well. And, uh, and that's it. So this is it for this week's meal plan. Like I said, you can find this on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. There's a new blog post that comes out every week for the current week's meal plan, and all the historical ones are there also. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you back here next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Lola's Frugal Life. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see you're listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast, so that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have an awesome day.